I'm out again. I'm on. Yes, yes. Oh, oh yeah. Don't go that way. You give me all little tangles. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Jumping. Oh yeah. This is a good one. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, good one. Look at that. Magnificent. Magnificent. Let me get this out of the way. Get out of the way. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, has to be. Has to be. Oh. Oh, yeah. Do your drag metal cast. That's a trick. Quick, let's get him in. Not as big as the other one, but still a lot of good fun. Oh yeah! Oh, still going. Oh, oh maybe premature. Come, come, come. That's it. Nice one. Right. I'm just getting sore. Come, come, come. Come to me. Yes, yes, yes. Woohoohoo! Oh, yeah. Again. I'm going far. Look at that. A beauty. Oh, yeah. So, so you can see this thing is a beauty. Oh, on the duo. Drag, metal cast. All right. I might keep one small one for myself, for sashimi. Oh, elation, Crom! I've waited patiently. Crom! Yeah. G'day friends, welcome back. Today is a day where I sashimi the fish, the Aussie salmon I caught yesterday. And have I got something special for you? Not only are we going to sashimi it, we're probably going to try to mix the veg out of this. So, without further ado, here is that fish we caught yesterday. The magnificent Aussie salmon, as you can see. Nice and fresh and cured. And we're going to make a wonderful meal out of this whole fish. So, stay tuned and watch this space as I fillet this thing and then prepare the fish. Now we've come to the next stage of these two beautiful fillets of Australian salmon as you can see. And the next thing we'll like to do is to remove the red veiny bits here which we do not like and don't taste as good. I actually like the top flank here as you can see this little particular flank here I think is very nice with sashimi whereas the darker sections I don't think are as prized and you can see my trusty dog Noodle here she knows what's going on she knows it's time for a feed so she will be getting some of the scraps but here we go I shall progress I think to the next stage of food preparation now I like this flank down here so what I might do is get rid of this middle flank here first
as you can see, there is a bit of redness down here, and really that's the part that I prefer not to eat, and for that reason we will cut the right. So on this very small sized Aussie salmon. Just place that down here first. The other part that is nice and fatty is this part here around the belly section here. I find that quite delicious too. As you can see from these lovely slabs of um, Australian tuna, leading the section from the fat dog in the background. Noodle, you're interrupting my program. <laughs> now, you all recall the start of the show? Yeah, right. Anyway, I suppose we should get on with this. Don't leave any of the red uh, bloody bits. Keep only the white bits, which are the tastiest bits of the Aussie salmon. And I think you will find that Aussie salmon is actually quite delectable. All right. Intermission, I suppose. Intermission. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dice up the Aussie salmon, and I like it in nice little chunky bits, small enough to pick up with chopsticks, but not too small and mushy. Otherwise, it doesn't taste very good. Okay, like so. And sometimes I give it a little bit more of a cut, but I don't want it to be. So small little cubes like that might seem to be the best way to go. Okay, now I'll place it in a little bowl over here. Very good. Now repeat the process with the rest of the flesh that you see down here. Now for our next stage of food preparation, as you can see, we have freshly grown home parsley, uh, shallot or red onion, and of course capsicum. And what I like to do is to dice this into very, very small bits that are easy to swallow and really complement the fish that we have diced up quite nicely. As you can see, beautiful fish and nicely diced up. So I have my trusty assistant who will now demonstrate the fine art of swordmanship so if you can chop that up for me and as you were doing before that's it good job now it's wonderful during times of covid to have a lovely assistant that can do all the work for you cooking together in a family is always a lot of fun don't you think rather than being on the ipad so i think this is a wonderful thing that she gets experience after all, it's my first time making Sebeshi, and I think it's hers too, so I think we're in the same boat together, yeah? Yeah. That's it, good job. Keep going. Very nice. A bit, a little more, chop, 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 chop. Good. That's it, keep going, keep going. Well done. It. that's looking really nice and very well done Ooh, I like the sound of that and I like your technique your dad must be a samurai warrior or something <laughs> <laughs> all right then all right can you place it all now for me interruption by my silly dogs again excuse the dogs as you can see right there of course, this is uh, the Michelin star chef's hat restaurant down at Adelong. Right. Next up, we have the red onions or maybe shallots, depending on what fan you fancy. So please, 
and uh, he said slice these things up for me beautifully done keep going and make it nice oh well and watch those dainty fingers we don't want you <laughs> to have one of these yakuza accidents and use a pinky or something like that that's it you do have some great skills i can see a real budding chef don't you think yeah. you sure are right about that right keep going a little bit more i think you're nearly there and once again great can you plunk it in right into that bowl without chopping and sacrificing a finger <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that. And all of that too yeah away and there's more Gently, gently, gently. Very, very, very good. Next, well, next up, as you can see, we're about to add our condiments and sauces. So the first thing to add is extra virgin olive oil. And I add pure sesame oil. Next, followed by a little bit of chili oil, kun yik waki chili oil to give it a bit of kick. And of course, then we have to cure it with the lemon. And I like to use a combination of limes and lemon only because it's sitting in the bottom of the fridge. <laughs> All right, so let us start off with the extra virgin olive oil. Okay, let's see, there we go. One, and drop it in there. Good job. All right, and maybe one more of those. Yeah, one little, or oh, maybe half of that. Good, and I'll drop it down there. Great, followed by the sesame oil. We would take just one of those. Mm -hmm. Good job, good job. Doing a mighty fine job there, dear. No pressure. It's gonna make me do it. <laughs> okay, you're doing real good. Oh wait, you've got to shake it. Yeah, like dancing. Okay, chuck it in. All right, now. Chili oil, only a little bit. Yeah. Maybe. Half of it. Yeah, probably less than that. Okay, that is quite potent. Yeah, shake, yeah, shake it. Maybe shake it directly straight onto it here. Yeah. Shake it straight into the dish. Okay, I'll just put that in. Yeah, and shake that directly straight on the dish. Yeah, shake, shake, shake. Yeah. Okay, I think that should do it because it'll probably blow me apart. <laughs> All right, now it's time for you to show me your muscle, and um, yeah, squeeze that lemon. Squeeze that lemon. Yeah. All that juice, give it to me. That's it. Squeeze that lemon. Me. Get all of it. Yeah. All of that. Yeah, power. Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, power, power. Squeeze it. Good. See it coming. Oh, yeah. That's okay. That's... Okay. And then, what about that lime? Do the same with the lime. Mm. Okay. And I'll probably help you in a moment there to get rid of the rest of it. Right. Okay. Now, salt and pepper, you're quite correct. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a marvelous job there. Go for gold. Yeah. Salt and pepper. And a bit of pepper, yeah. All right, now, with those pair of chopsticks, give it a good mix. Yeah, mixed up all that juice and mix it all up. That's it. Mix it, mix it, mix it. That's it. Right. Good job. Right. Right. Now, once you've mixed it all up, I think we'll let 
it cure you can see bits and bobs of it starting to go a bit whitish so we'll let it sit for about 20 minutes and come back and have a look at it in 20 minutes <laughs> 20 minutes later the fish is cured and now it's ready to serve and eat so could you kindly place it right there lovely 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 mm -mm. yeah And there you have it, beautiful, home-cooked or home-made Savage Australian Salmon. Freshly caught yesterday, no better way to eat it I think, to appreciate the fine, rich omega-3 fatty acid fish caught right here in sunny Atalong. Until the next exciting episode, check it out. Goodbye from Joe, Ninja, Fisherman.